Jillian, I know it has been hard losing your mother, but and moving, but life moves on, and many surprises won't be waiting around the corner. Line. And you must take all of the chances that you get. Your aunt Millie will be waiting for you. Do not blow this chance in. Mr. Poe, I've been to twelve foster homes in the last year. What makes you think that this one's going to be different? Well, Plus, how have you not known about my aunt all of this time? Well, everybody thought she was dead until a few months ago. <laughs> Looking through your mother's papers, we found an address which we immediately looked into. So by immediately, you mean it took you three months to get around to it? In my defense, we thought you were happy at your foster home. Even after I called you 50 times saying I was not happy. Okay, well it may have took us a while, but I, I'm sure that it is going to be worth it in the end. After all, she is the only family you have left. Nobody's ever seen her, and all of the people who know her are mysteriously dead or moved to the middle of the Arctic and never heard from again. Come on, come on. It can't be as bad as the crazy cat lady who thought you were a cat. <laughs> I can't get the taste of the cat out of my mouth. How much do you know about Aunt Millie exactly? What does she do? Does she have kids? Do you know anything at all? Not really. All I know is that she is a retired dentist who has lived in Africa as a scientist teacher without a degree. She was accused of murdering her next door neighbor in his sleep. But we have done lots of research and she seems like a perfectly fine buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfectly safe. Nothing could happen. Of course. Of course? I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm is wasted on me. <laughs> and what if I don't enjoy living with her? Well, she is your family, so you are a property now, and we cannot get involved in, in family matters. But I'm sure nothing will happen, because she seems like a kind woman. But you never met her. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm disaster. I heard that. Of course you did. It is going to be okay. What could happen? A lot could happen. She's probably a psycho killer and a feral rabbit or something. Well, I'm sure she is a very normal lady with a very normal life. I seem to have lots of bad experiences with foster parents. Why would this be different now? She is family, and that's different than a foster parent. Are you sure you're not giving me to her just so you can get me out of the foster care system and not have to spend government money on me? Why would we do that? Here we are. First Raymer Street. It's a small cottage on the end of the road. See, it might not be that bad. Might not be. Brrr. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mr. Bro from the government. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I don't need the nosy government sticking their fingers in other people's business. Take it back when I said she might not be so bad. Jill, it's fine. Leave it to the adult. <laughs> you didn't tell her we were coming, did you? No, I did not. <laughs> Great, perfect. Thanks, Mr. P. No need for the sarcasm. Mrs. Millie, your sister has died and this is her daughter. Don't lie to me. She sent me a letter last week. From a year ago, the right late. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have kids in my house. <laughs> well, I guess that I'll have to have yet another foster home. Fine. But don't get too comfortable. You're not, you might not be staying. I know, like every other foster Don't be rude. She's fine. I'm sorry, I'm in charge of her right now. Am I really the only family she's got left? Yep. Fine, I'll take her. I have a name, Jillian. Seems like you will get along fine, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it'll be okay living here. <laughs> 